Hi everybody, I'm Melissa Bender and I'm super excited to work out with you guys today. For today's workout, set your interval timer for 28 rounds, 10 seconds of rest before each exercise, 50 seconds, as many repetitions as you can get in. So for me, as you guys know, if you've been following along with me, I'm currently 14 and a half weeks pregnant. I had to think about it for a minute. Um, so I'm gonna really be pacing myself. So feel free to push yourself above and beyond what I'm able to do. Um, go for as many repetitions as you can. If you need a break at any time, take it, but then just get right back into it. Listen to your body, but still learn how to challenge and push yourself. Those are key things in progressing your fitness journey. Okay guys, so all you need for this workout is a little bit of space. I use my yoga mat, um, water is always good to have handy. Other than that, we're ready to go. So feel free to follow along with me or set your own timer. You guys ready? We're actually gonna have 20 seconds of prep time because I have a little leeway on mine just to make sure in case I talk for too long. And then our first exercise is gonna be a side to side squat. Okay, so if you haven't warmed up yet, um, you can warm up, step together, step out to the side. Core stays pulling in, butt reaches back like there's an invisible chair behind you. We're starting now. Squat. And if you've already warmed up, feel free to go faster. So just move a little bit quicker, like that. Butt keeps reaching back. Good job, guys. Doing great, just keep moving. Five seconds. Okay, next we're gonna have a kick back tap. Core pulls in, leg is gonna kick back, and then we're gonna tap the ground. You can have a slight bend in your knee, if it's more comfortable, you can keep your knee straight. But for most of us, that bend is appreciated. All one side, then the other. Good job, guys. Think about activating those upper glute muscles when you kick back. And then working that standing leg, the back of the thigh and the glute on the other leg, every time you tap and lift. Good job, guys. Breathe. Perfect timing, I was losing my balance at the end. Same thing, other side. Core stays strong. That means muscles pulled in, working those transverse abs. Kick it back and tap. It is normal to have better balance and flexibility on one side than the other. Um, so don't worry if you wobble more on one side. With practice, those imbalances work themselves out. That's why it's good to isolate one leg at a time, like we're doing with this exercise. Breathe. Good job. Next we're going to have tap to toes. So we're in a deep squat tapping the ground in front of us, keeping your back flat. If you can't reach the ground, that's fine. Just reach to wherever you can. As you come up, come onto the toes and touch. Butt reaches back. So kind of like you're getting into a frog position, like you're about to do leapfrog. And in fact, if you want to make it higher impact, you just add that leap. Your choice. There's always a way to make your workouts 
more or less intense, depending on what your body needs. Good job, guys. Keep going. Good job. Next, we're gonna have a double swing. So all one leg, then the other. So it's gonna be knee facing forward, then knee turns up towards the ceiling. So standing, you can put your hands in front of you if you prefer, knee forward, knee up. So we're working the thigh in different ways, activating different muscles. The muscles responsible for abducting your leg, the outer muscles, and then the muscles responsible for rotation and extension. Good job, guys. Keep moving. If you need to hold on to a chair or something, you can always do that for balance. Like I said, balance comes with time and practice, just like anything else. Good. Same thing, other leg. Catch your breath if you need to. guys. Sides of the leg, front. Make those glute muscles work for you. You can feel it. If you put your hands right here, you'll feel that change in the muscles that are working in the glutes. Good job, guys. Keep going. Excellent. Next, we're going to have standing oblique reach. So for this one, you want to twist as far as you can. I can't twist super deeply, um, but you can twist further. So we're going to go all one side, twist, look behind you, forward, twist. So you want to twist from the waist and then reach back with the shoulders. So it's not just movement of the shoulders. You're actually twisting the torso. Good job. Breathe. Excellent. Keep going. Other side, same thing. Whew. Shake it out if you need to. <laughs> Don't be afraid to have fun with your workout. If it feels goofy, whatever movement it is, and you want to laugh a little bit, go for it. Good, keep moving. Again, twisting from the core as deeply as you can. Doing great. Keep going. Almost there. Okay, next we are going to have single leg push-up, okay? If you need to go onto your knees for this one, you can. If you need to do both knees down, you can. Listen to your body. So if you're going to do single knee, you're going to go like this, back flat, push-up. If you're going to do it full out, keep alternating which leg goes up. Breathe, core strong. Keep 
push through it. Or I should say push up through it. Two seconds. Good job, guys. Okay, next we have side plank leg lift. So we're staying on the floor. And if the leg lift gets too crazy, you can just hold your side plank. But we're in a leg lift like this. The other option is so an extended arm, one knee comes down, leg lifts. So this is the modification for the side plank leg lift. I recommend building to at least holding the side plank because you're going to activate those muscles a little bit more deeply. Feel the burn. <laughs> Doing great. Keep going, guys. Let me get onto my forearm. Here we go. Good job, same thing, other side. Same modification, nothing changes there. There we go. Hold your plank if you need to. Lift. Core strong. Support those back muscles, support your posture. Doing great, guys. Keep going. Breathe. Keep those hips high. Reach them up toward the ceiling. I know they want to drop down when you get tired. Almost there. Saved by the bell. Okay, next we're going to have windshield wiper plank. So we're in a plank position. Belly pulls in toward your spine. Forearm plank. And we're going to step out and step to the other side. I'm going to angle myself a little bit so I have just a little more room. Breathe. Core strong. Belly pulls in if it's not already. Breathe. Keep going. Breathe. Let's get rid of a phone call. It's messing up our time. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Next we have lunge or lunge jump. I swear I used to put it in airplane mode. <laughs> okay, so your choice. We're going to either alternate our lunges or lunge jump. You decide. Almost there, guys. Keep moving. Okay, next we're going to have an in and out squat. So we're going to go from a close leg squat, like a chair pose. And you could either jump it out and in or step it out, step it in. But wide legs, close legs. Toes can turn slightly out or they can face forward. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Back is flat. Butt is reaching back behind you every time. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Breathe. 
breathe through it and the sides start to burn. Okay, good job. Next we have forward kick. So hands come up and we're going to alternate, bend the knee, kick it forward. Like you're pushing on a gas pedal with your toes. Good job. Excellent. Doing great, guys. Almost there. Five seconds. Okay. Next, we're going to have either lunge to toe or lunge to hop. All one side, move this out. So we are going to lunge and either come up on the toes or lunge, pop it up. Your choice. All one side, other side will be next. Good job, keep moving. Excellent job, same thing other leg. Shake it out. Here we go. And either toes or hop, your choice. Doing great, guys. We're getting there. Good job. Next we have plie, again, either to toes or jump. So toes turn out, tailbone tucks under instead of butt reaching back. And then you're going to either come onto the toes like so, or plie, jump, land with a bend in the knees. Your choice. Knees press open as you lower into it. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Getting there, guys. Less than 10 seconds. Tuck those bums under. Different than a squat. Okay. Good job. Next, we are going to have a leg scissor. So you can either extend the arms up behind you and lift the shoulder blades, like so, kicking, abs pulling in. I'm actually going to put my hands under my butt, make sure my abs stay pulled in the whole time. And guys, if you're pregnant and you're working out with me, some people experience dizziness or discomfort when laying on their back, uh, starting in the second trimester. If you've experienced that at all, don't do this exercise. Instead, do the standing front kicks again that we did, keeping the core muscles engaged. Breathe. 
Keep those transverse ab muscles engaged the whole time, belly pulling in. Good job. Next, we're going to have side plank reach through. Now again, this is a twisting motion. I'm not gonna go as deep into the twist as I normally do. You can go as far as you can reach. So start reaching up and then you're gonna reach under and tap. I'm just gonna reach a little bit to activate the core without doing a deep twist. Excellent job, guys. Breathe. Doing great. Lift up again. Hold your side plank if it gets crazy. Good job, same thing on the other side. And you could do this on extended arm or forearm, your choice. Good job, guys. And like I said, you could twist and reach through as far as you're able to. Keep going. We're getting there. Keep moving, guys. Good. Okay, next we have reverse plank step out. So we're going to reverse plank. I'm going to angle a little bit. If the step out is too much, find your reverse plank and hold it. If you can, keep the hips high. Step out. Step out. Just like we did in that windshield wiper plank, just facing our bodies in the other direction. So working the back. The back is part of your core also, and it's a part we tend to neglect as human beings. <laughs> so it's very important to work the back of your core to really stabilize and prevent low back pain. Breathe. Good job, guys. Keep going. Okay, next we have super girls. You can also choose to do supermans, which you would lie on your belly. Lift your arms and legs, but we're going to do super girls, alternating arm and leg. So right left leg, right arm lifts, lower to plank, other side. If it gets too crazy, come on one knee and do bird dog instead, which I'm actually going to do just because I was having trouble with the balance and I don't want to risk falling on my belly. Breathe. Core stay strong. Bend. Good job. Okay, next we have um, plank to oblique step. So we're going to start in plank, and we're going to step one foot through. So left foot steps to the right, open it up with one foot forward, side plank, step back, other side. Good job. Kind of a really nice flowing movement back and forth with this one. Breathe through it. Good 
Good job. Okay, next we are going to have down dog, either hop or heel press. I'll show you the hop and then I'm gonna do the heel press. So we're going to down dog, all one side, knee comes forward, hop it up. Work, down dog, heel press. Bring it through, heel press. Belly stays strong as you bring it through, heel press. Good job, guys. Doing good. Keep going. Same thing on the other side. We're on just last three exercises now. Shake out the shoulders if you need to. So other side, either hop or heel press. Almost there, guys. Good job. Okay, chair step is next. So I'll turn sideways for this one. We're going to chair pose, so um, close leg squat, butt reaches back, and then we're going to step one foot forward, bringing that knee close to the ground, lower. If you want to make it harder, come onto your toes. Every time you come back to that close leg squat. Good job, guys. Last few seconds. Okay, final exercise. Flat back to standing back bend. Core strong. We're going to go flat back. Bring it up. Reach behind you. You can reach as far back as feels good to you. And you can actually roll from the flat back up to the stretch. Find your flat back, roll up to the stretch. So we're just working on that back mobility a little bit. Flat back, bend your knees if you get any lightheadedness or dizziness. Sometimes those postural changes can be challenging. Flat back, roll it up, stretch. Good job, guys. Really excellent job on today's workout. I hope you guys liked it. I asked you guys on Instagram and Facebook what type of workout you most wanted to see next, and you guys said lit, so that was today's workout. So let me know what you want to see for our next workout video. Um, strength training is a closed runner up right now. So we have strength training, yoga, hit, or more lit. Let me know what you guys, let me know what you guys want to see. Press like if you like the workout. Subscribe if you want more workouts, and as always, whole length breakdown as well as over a thousand other free home workouts are on my website, always free, fenderfitness.com. See you guys next time.